Hello everyone, this is Eugene Blind and it's my EU4 country strategy guide. As I promised, today we will speak about Oman. On this, on this week you could see four of my streams when I was playing this country and uh, at the end of the week I will provide you with a short uh, uh, beginner's uh, guide for uh, for those who would like to play this country. To start with, we will speak about the geographic position of the Oman. As you can see, it is situated on the south-east, yes, it can be also of the Arabian, Pen Arabian Peninsula. It borders Naj, Yemen and the little island Hormuz. Yeah, um, through the strait it borders Timorites and Balochistan also. Uh, well, on, uh, in white case it's a good position, because you have uh, not so many uh, neighbors. Uh, Hormuz uh, won't, uh, in most cases, won't attack you, and if we we'll speak about Nach and Yemen, Yemen should uh, will attack you from just uh, one province to one your province so it will be easy to defend here nearly the same uh, we can say about Nudge so uh, you have just uh, two ways where you can be attacked and it's easier to defend here on the other hand uh, the same problem will be if you are going to expand so you have mainly Three ways. Hormuz will be crushed at the beginning, but we will speak about it in the a bit later. Uh, and then you will have only Nach and Yemen in order to grow your empire. Or you sh you will have to go somewhere outside just from the start. Well, speaking about internal situation, uh, it's again. On one hand, it's okay. Uh, most of your really uh, uh, your religious unity is okay. Your main culture is Omani, and you have just, as far as I'm aware, yes, one province of the different cultures. So that's okay. And we speak about religion. All your province are of your religion. So it's. It's really okay, uh, but uh, the negative things are first that you have a really poor provinces. So here you can see what we got three, three. Yes, your capital is ten, five, seven, five. It's far not far from being really good. Uh, that's why you. From just from such have such a tiny army, only six thousand, and it's not really much. Yeah, you have the force limit of yeah of nine, uh, but also nine is not the best things you may that you that can happen to you when you start EU four for a uh, country with not just one province or even two uh, so that means that you will won't have uh, too much uh, money from the start yeah here is plus two but when you will build forces uh, you will see that you won't have such uh, so many money and uh, such low development won't allow you to, as I already said, have a huge army, even medium army. Uh, and uh, in this case, your wars might you may declare war only then you are sure that you will win. And of course, you always need to uh, take in mind how many forces do have your potential enemies. Well, well, yes, I think it's 
all what I can say about the internal situation. So it's in most cases far from being really good. So it should be changed. Well, then to now we will speak about the uh, national ideas of man again. There, something is really good and something is not. First, you may you what you must know about Oman it's about trade and navy, because if you can you will see here uh, uh, the starting ideas, not ideas but traditions, are about navy. All, all of them is good but it's about navy. Uh, here we have the date steering bonus, it's ok, shipbuilding time reduced, national service modified, yeah, it's what, tolerance sale of heavens, yes, it's quite good, because, yeah, I forget to mention that your religion is Ibadi. As far as I remember, only just few countries have this religion, and none of your neighbors. So you will be a heretic to all of them, and that's why it will be a bit harder for you to make alliances or just friends. No one will really like you, and uh, when you will conquer any any of your provinces of any of your neighbors, it will surely be of the wrong religion. So you will need to convert it or to go into humanist ideas. Humanism ideas. Okay, but back to the idea. So the tolerance of heavens is quite a good uh, idea for um, a man. Here, trade deficiency, uh, light shift failures, uh, modifiers, uh, naval leader maneuver, and motion. So as you can see, all about navy and trade. On one hand, that means that uh, you may build a lot of light ships uh, uh, and uh, take the uh, uh, centers of trade such as this and your cash flow from trade will be really cool. But there is one problem. Uh, first, you need to conquer the centers of trade and it's in some cases it will be not so easy for you and the second problem is that uh, navy, na your navy, your powerful navy can't conquer province it should you do your army and as you can see here you have no bonuses on your land forces none just zero and it's uh, a bit of a bit pity for you, because uh, as I already said, uh, all your neighbors most likely are unfriendly to you. Yeah, you may you will be able to make some alliances, but in some cases it will be a bit more difficult, as I already said. Well, now we're coming, yes, and if I already mentioned the, uh, your allies and rivals, now we will speak about them. Uh, whom are your potential allies? And uh, your rivals? It depends on random, honestly. Most likely Yemen will rival you, and as I started my uh, stream for twice uh, Yemen was my rival in both uh, in both cases so I think uh, it will surely rival you because you are of the equal power and you are neighbors that's I think it's obvious then this uh, nudge may uh, make you also rival because uh, the situation is the same with, as with Yemen uh, Baluchistan or uh, somebody like this. Uh, for powers, uh, really powerful countries such as Timorese, uh, Kuyulu, Mamluks, Ottomans, or some strong powers in India, you are not worthy to make your arrival, so you may relax in this case. Uh, so, 
honestly, you haven't got some deadly rivals, and you can uh, have no any uh, worthy allies. So from the start, it will be some of the barbarian miners, maybe Naj, or maybe Has, or the Shamar, or somebody of them. So uh, the main uh, thing you should remember is that you should uh, find your first victim who have less allies the best sh the best thing if uh, the victim have no allies and to crush it with the help of your allies or alone if you sure that you can do it uh, so, uh, as a, also as a potential ally against Yemen can be Adal or these guys with the name that I think I can't pronounce without making a mistake. These guys. Because uh, uh, they can fabricate claims on Yemen, Adal can just uh, cross the strait and hit them. So somebody of this should be your allies, if it is, if it will be possible, of course. And uh, later on, well, you mm, uh, you need to have some really powerful ally, but unfortunately, because of your religions, uh, Timurids rather won't likely to become your ally. Mine looks the same. Maybe some Indian uh, countries will. Uh, uh, like will be your allies but it will be a bit later then you become a bit stronger than you you are at the start and uh, finally now i think it's time to speak about what to do what exactly to do then you play for a month so where to expand and what uh, can't, uh, where what provinces to conquer and what what else can we do to Honestly, to stay alive, because uh, all your neighbors are not not really to not really friends to you, friendly to you. Uh, as I already mentioned from the start, your potential goals are Nudge and Yemen. No, first your goal is Hormuz, but uh, I don't think it's even worth it to mention about them. So. Just send diplomat, fabricate claim, and conquer. One province, it shouldn't have any problems. You. Uh, later on, it will be Najd and Yemen. So you may you need to choose who is who of them is weaker, who have less powerful allies, or maybe not none allies, and just start your first conquest. The ideal situation is for you is to conquer all the Arabian Peninsula, but unfortunately uh, during the latest patches it will be because of the latest patches it will be a bit difficult for you it, not a bit it will be impossible for you from the start because the Hejaz is a, a vassal of Mamluks and as you can imagine fighting the, the Mamluks with such a tiny army is not the best decision you may you may take. Uh, well, after the Naj and Yemen conquered, ideally, you have the ability to go into the East Africa. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, and um, here you need to the same you'll need to choose your first victim and to conquer it so it will be can uh, depend on the situation for of these guys mainly of this 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 and these guys will dominate also um, it would be wise for you uh, to conquer maldives yes the causes barely yes the stability drop but it will provide you with the Maldives. First, uh, when you declare war without Casus Belli, you 
give um, just really pretty much uh, aggressive expansion and then you conquer Maldives you will uh, all all these guys will suffer not so pretty much because Maldives are a bit far away from them and you will if you will do some the same something somewhere here it may be a chance for collision against you and then the Maldives are conquered so you may fabricate claims uh, on the south of India and uh, uh, Sri Lanka the, uh, and this island should be your next target because most likely uh, there will be or such situation or so, uh, some of these guys will unite the island it's unlikely that some of the powerful Indian countries will go here so you may uh, take it and this island is pretty uh, pretty good it has a uh, good development not so really crucial but uh, it is far more better than yours and from uh, from here and from here you can go and conquer the south of India and to control this node especially it's crucial to conquer these provinces if it will be possible because uh, alone you won't be able to fight Vijayanagar or for example Bahmanis if they will, will be able to conquer these lands uh, the same is uh, uh, with the other centers uh, of trade but as I already said you can go here only with when you will declare war without causes belly but here it it's won't you won't have some serious problems if you do somewhere else you may uh, you may uh, fight the coalition later on uh, so as for me these are the main ways where you can expand so the Arabian Peninsula it's not so not going somewhere else uh, if you will co uh, no uh, let's say so if we will be able to conquer the Arabian Peninsula even Hejaz and that means that you will uh, fight the Mamluks or you will be lucky and Ottomans will free Hejaz from the Mamluks and you could eat it but uh, nevertheless sooner or later you will face the Ottomans somewhere here so we'll, they will surely go to conquer Mamluks they will surely go to conquer Kuyulu so sooner or later you will face it face them and eat I don't pretty sure that, that they will be interested in making any alliances with you they will just you will be uh, an easy victim for them that's why I don't think that you should uh, really, uh, really rely on these provinces. Farmer bet is go into the East Africa, South India, or even somewhere here in Indonesia, because uh, you may uh, here are some situated not so really powerful countries without any allies. So if we will speak about these guys here's uh, yeah there are some alliances and it won't be so easy for you but uh, just for example these guys so you may again the outcast belly of course but here just these guys may do something to you but collision uh, and uh, with only one member it's not collision so you may conquer these guys then these ones from this you may fabricate the camp on this then go here and then conquer this island uh, remember your main provinces are not so well developed your army is not so strong that's why you should go uh, and your navy is really strong that's why you should use it and go 
or to the nearest uh, how to say mm, to the nearest lens on the other continents or a bit far away from you in order to provide you with some land where you can go if the things in the Arabian Peninsula will go in on a bed if you for example you will fight with the Ottomans and it will be a bit hard for you alone especially only if uh, if uh, somebody of you some of European powers will fight them too but at the same time they won't become your allies so just you may use this chance to attack them but on one-on-one -on -one combat I don't think you have uh, any serious chance yes there is uh, such an achievement in the game there you uh, playing on the uh, by the Oman or of the Ibadi nation will need to eliminate all the rifle schools of Islam all the rifle schools of Islam so that means you need to conquer most of the India most of the Asia all these guys all these guys most of these guys as Ottomans as well I don't really understand imagine how it can be done especially for the man whose starting position not so good and it will be a bit uh, of challenge just to expand yeah as you can see on my stream it's in some cases we haven't even got some seriously long wars but we conquered not so pretty much so we were able to conquer all this uh, all these provinces some parts some just l two or, or you know something like this and that was our vassal and a bit of South India yes yeah you may go here and in this case it will be maybe worth it to take the expansion uh, exploration idea in order to mm, uh, build colonies here and to become a, a just a powerful colonial nation here here will be provinces here will be your uh, uh, they won't become a colonial nations it can be only in Australia so it they will if you will make them mistakes, you will gain pretty much from them because trail goods provide produce here are mostly cost a lot. That's that's why maybe it will be a good chance for you. The same with Africa, but most likely here uh, Hilva will conquer all these guys, and you will face a really strong opponent here. Well, I think it's it's enough for this guide. So the main conclusion we may get is that uh, the style for playing the man, if you are not some extra pro player, will be something like the Arabian Vikings. So you have a poor own land, that's why, but you have a good navy, that's why you need to go on the other continent, somewhere far, and conquer all the lands there. Take your piece of land. And I think it's it's quite uh, possible. It's really possible. You may see it on my streams. And uh, I think I hope this guide will help you to make it. Uh, make the uh, your gameplay for the man a bit easier and that's all for now thank you for watching me will be really grateful for likes uh, even more will be grateful for subscribes and uh, also the uh, a bit later will be but today will be the country uh, the historical guide about the man as I also promised that's why stay on the channel and goodbye, see you soon.